What happened? Need more hey Bruins, how's it going? I'm Alyssa. I'm a group fitness instructor with Belmont's Fitness and Recreation Department. I teach indoor cycle, yoga, and boot camp for you guys here on campus. We have an upper body strength video coming your way, and I really hope you're excited to take it because I know we are excited to provide it for you guys. We have uh, tons of other videos and resources up on our website, and we really hope that you check them out and take advantage of them. Have a good one, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome in. We've got an upper body strength workout here for you guys today. Um, for this class, all you're going to need is um, a set of washcloths, so two or one long towel if you can. Um, if you have access to gliders, then you'll just need a glider or two sets of gliders. Um, and otherwise, we'll go ahead and get started. So for our warm up, we're going to be starting in a plank position. So coming into our tabletop, stacking shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. We're just going to extend our feet back behind us and then walking them out a little bit wider to give us a good base. And then from here, we're just going to take a shoulder tap. So right hand is going to tap the left shoulder and then the left hand is going to tap the right shoulder. We're going to be there for a total of 10. From there, we're going to hit a plank rotation. So you're just opening up into this T shape and then coming all the way back down and doing that on both sides. And then our final exercise and our warm up is going to be an archer. So you're going to have the left foot forward. Both hands are going to reach out in front like you're creating an arrow. And then imagine you're pulling back on your bow and we're going to work five on each side. For our workout portion of class today, we have two circuits that we're going to do two times through. So it'll be quick and breezy, um, just enough to get your blood pumping and moving, and then get you on your way. Um, so go ahead, when you're ready, meet me in a plank position. We're going to start our warm up in three, two, and one. Here we go. We've got 10 shoulder taps coming in. Halfway. And last one, staying in our high plank. Here we go. Open up, rotate. Yes. We have 10 rotations. So really focusing on pulling with the upper body before the hips, guiding us. Core is nice and strong. So good. Everything moving as one unit. Last one, and take it down to the knees. Coming into our archer, left foot is forward. We have five on this side. Hands reach out in front in three, two, one. Let's go, pull it open and back, yes. Last one, and switching sides. Right foot is forward, arms reach out in front, right arm is going to pull back, twisting it open. For three, two, and last one, coming to center. So, so great, giving everything going. We're going to get right into our first circuit, so coming to the back side of your mat. We have an inchworm. So how our inchworm is gonna work, you're gonna start at the back, you're gonna roll it all the way down, walk your hands out into a high plank. You can take a push up here if you would like, and then just walk the hands all the way back and roll it all the way back up. From there, we're gonna come all the way down onto our belly and just do a half Superman lift. So just the upper body is lifting up. Arms are out in front, and it's just right here. So legs are staying down on the back on the mat the entire time. From there, we're gonna kick ourselves into a downward dog position, and we're gonna work a pike push-up. So the goal here is to get the forehead between the hands. So the elbows are gonna flare out, and you're just gonna come all the way 
as close as you can to the ground. And that's gonna be our first circuit. We're gonna work through two times, so just enough to get the body up and moving. Grab some water if you need it, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So pick the side of your mat you wanna start on, and we have eight inchworms in three, two, one, let's go. Walk it all the way out. So strong. One is done. That's the hard part, just getting it started. active the entire time as you're walking out shoulders are active hips aren't sinking too low when you hit your plank everything's coming to a nice straight line we've got one more and walking it all the way back up making our way down to our stomach Laying down, arms reach out long in front. We have six half upper body supermans. Here we go, inhale for one. Last one, right here, let's get it. So strong. Pressing ourselves up and back, we meet in a downward facing dog. We have four pike push-ups here. So when you're ready, take your inhale and then exhale, yes. Last one, so strong. Coming back up to the back of your mat, we have our second time through, final time through here. Eight inch worms, let's go. Chair. I'm finding things that make me care. I don't feel tired when I'm working, sleeping soundly, waking early, working hours. I don't mind, I'm feeling less and less deprived. Don't pinch me because I might be dreaming. Stand it up tall, begin to make your way down to your stomach. We have our six supermans right here, inhale. Last one, so strong, press it up. Getting into our down dog position, coming into our pike push-ups, here we go, halfway, last one, so strong, grab some water if you need it, second circuit, coming up and in through, we have eight lateral bear walks, six tricep dips, and four glider reaches. I'll quickly demo all of that for you while you're in between rounds. So our bear walk, you're gonna come into a floating, hovering tabletop position. So shoulders are under or over your wrists, hips are over your knees, pressing and lifting the knees up just a little, low belly's in an active, and we walk the length of our mat for eight. Down and back. From there, we have our tricep dips. So hands are gonna place on the outsides of the hips. You're gonna press and lift the hips as high up as you can, and then you're just gonna dip down. Keeping the elbows pointing straight back behind you. And then grabbing your washcloth or gliders. We have a total of four. So you're coming into a modified plank position, and then just reaching forward 
nice and easy. Again, it's two rounds. Grab water if you need it here. And we're going to get rocking and rolling. So pick the side of your mat you want to be on for your eight lateral walks to start. It doesn't make a difference. Stack the shoulders over your wrists. Tuck the toes beneath you. Press and lift it up. Let's go. And take it all the way back to start. Yes. Coming into our tricep dips of sitting down, hands on the outside of the hips. Press and lift the hips up just enough so we can get some good bend in the elbow. Here we go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back, grabbing your washcloths or gliders. Modified plank position, core super strong, reach, two, Last one, so strong. Back to our bear walk. Tucking the toes beneath us, shoulders over wrists. Let's go, hips stay level the entire time. So you're not changing the position of your torso. Two more and drop so strong last round of tricep dips here hands on the outside of the hips inhale to press them up we got six and three two one let's go halfway awesome so strong last set of glider reaches right here set yourself up Modified plank, keep pressing the ground away. Don't sink into the shoulders. One. Last one, so good. Kick it back. Oh, nice work, my friends. That is what we've got for upper body. Quickly gonna cool it down right here with y'all just to stretch it out. Taking the right arm out to the right, crossing it over right side body, dropping the shoulder down away from the ear. We're here for 10 seconds. For three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch sides. Taking for the left arm, crossing it over. For three, two, and one, go ahead and release right arm, which is up back and behind hand to the shoulders. And go ahead and relax, switching it out. And releasing. If you want to keep going through with this, you can totally just scroll on back, hit those circuits again and keep on going. Otherwise, you can check out any of these videos over here um, and they will give you a great addition to what you're trying to get with your goals. Have a good one, guys.